And we are back again with yet another video for Friday Night Counter-Attack. And I'm so excited about this week because we are talking about one of my favorite teams to watch this season. They are so exciting. Let me give you a bit of a hint. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, this week is all about AC Milan. The UCL semifinalists last season, currently leading the Serie A this season and in the UCL group of death. We are seeing a resurgence in AC Milan since that 2003 era where they were just... We know all about the talent that this team has. What I want to talk to you guys about this week is the youngsters on AC Milan. So here are my top five players under 23 at Milan this season. Andiamo. In at number one, it's Noah Okafor. He has become a crucial piece to this Milan side, playing in eight of eight Serie A matches this season for Milan and locking in two goals already. The 23-year-old Swiss player scored against Lazio and Cagliari and made a cameo against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League. Noah Okafor is becoming a constantly used substitute for Olivier Giroud and Rafael Liao and is becoming more and more confident with every match he plays for Milan. In at number two, it's Malik Chow. One of the brightest young defenders in all of world football, the player has only been dribbled past four times this entire season. He is averaging 88 minutes of playing time per match, so basically playing full matches and has only missed one Milan game this season. The 22-year-old German center back has solidified his spot in Stefano Pioli's side. My question to you guys is after making his international debut for Germany against Mexico this past week, has Malik Chow earned a spot in the German side, perhaps in time for the upcoming Euros? Let me know in the comments. In at number three, it's Yunus Musa, an American, I know, but listen, the 20-year-old has been so versatile for Milan this season. Apparently, another certain American, Kristen Pulisic, was reaching out to Musa and urging him to join Milan after Pulisic had joined Milan as well. Musa has found more playing time than maybe some of us expected, partially due to injuries with Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Krunic, and has played in eight of Milan's 10 matches in total this season and has assisted a goal in the Serie A. Stefano Pioli has showed a lot of faith in the young American as he has played him as a mezzala, regista, and a wing back. The versatility is incredible. In at number four, it's Yasin Adli, a true representation of what determination looks like, carving out his spot with the Rossoneri this season. Adli hadn't seen the pitch for Milan in the first five Serie A matches as well as the first Champions League game, but after Pioli started the Frenchman against Galliari, he impressed the coach and has been a part of all Serie A matches since as well as the Champions League. The 23-year-old turned his fate around at Milan and looks to only be getting better and better. And finally, at number five, it's Davide Bartisagi. The 17-year-old Primavera product has now made his Serie A debut with Milan this season. Coming on in a match against Verona, Bartisagi got to see real Serie A minutes and win his first home match with Milan at the San Siro. The Milan homegrown left back has seen minutes in three Serie A matches this season after being a crucial part of AC Milan's U19 squad. There are rumors that the player could be loaned out in January in order to get more playing time, but only time will tell. So let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think Davide Bartisagi is on his way out in January from Milan or will Stefano Pioli keep him in the squad? Let me know. All right, guys, so there you have it. Those are my top five youngsters at Milan this season. Let me know if you agree, disagree, or if there was someone I missed.